Hey everybody, Alexandra here, and today we are gonna be talking about skincare. I know this is a video that a lot of you guys have requested. You've been asking for my skincare routine, things like that, and you know, I, I just didn't feel like the timing was right, but I recently just made a very, very big change in my skincare routine. I just made a very big decision and I am already seeing some really amazing results, quite frankly. So I figured this is the perfect time to do this and to share this with you guys and take you along this journey that I have decided to embark upon. So before I get too deeply involved into this video, I do want to say that I know everyone's skincare routine is very personal to that individual and what type of skin they have, what their desired results are, that kind of thing. This is just the journey that I am taking and the decisions that I am making. I am not trying to push my decisions on anyone. I would not judge anyone for their skincare decisions. Again, I just wanted to take you guys along and show you the results that I am getting by doing the things and making the decisions that I am making. That's all, that's all this is, okay? Um, I also wanna tell you guys, I do not have anything on my face. I felt like it was very important in this video. The only thing that I have on is my morning skincare routine that I did this morning. I don't have any makeup on anywhere. As you can see, my skin is very, very not flawless at all. Um, I do have combination skin, so it's pretty much dry everywhere, oily T-zone. In the wintertime, I get a lot more dry, especially under my eyes. I really have to stay on top of those. I do also battle with pores and blackheads. I don't get a lot of acne, but I do have sensitive skin, so if I use a product that kind of inflames me, I will break out from that, or I will get like a bunch of red blotches and stuff so I do have very very sensitive skin the things of course like most people I'm 35 years old I am trying to you know I normally have a lot of bags and a lot of creasing under my eyes which right now it's they're very very minimal because of what I'm doing um also right here I'm starting to get some things coming up some creasing and then of course my smile lines and then I do have some sunspots, some discoloration, hyperpigmentation right here, here, and here, and then right here. So let me tell you guys what happened. Last Sunday, as you guys, a lot of you are, may already know, I do a live on Sundays, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're talking about maybe changing that time, maybe doing it earlier. You know, we're working on it. Okay. So the thing is, when I did the live last Sunday, normally I do my makeup. Normally I look, get all glammed up, that kind of thing. But for whatever reason, I just decided to take the Sunday off. I decided to just recharge my batteries, do some skincare, that kind of thing. And when I went back after we filmed that live and I watched it, I was horrified. Absolutely horrified horrified at what I saw okay these dark spots right here were very very prevalent they were very very dark I will show you a picture right here um I, my skin just it, it looked god awful and a lot of you guys may don't know this some of you may not I just did have a baby seven months ago he was born in February and my skin's been through a lot quite frankly um I was on a very good routine prior to being pregnant but once I became pregnant I quit doing my skincare routine completely I just exit out and um now that I'm not pregnant anymore I'm not breastfeeding any of that kind of thing I feel like it's a good time to really give my skin a reboot a re just completely reboot it and <sighs> I also feel it's important, if you guys don't know this, to also take care of your skin from the inside out. So I have been taking, and I will tell you guys this, the Halo Beauty Booster Hair Skin and Nails 
uh, vitamins. I am, this is my first bottle, and as you can see, they're almost gone. I gotta get some more. Um, so I'm about a month into taking those. I am seeing a few things with my hair, my nails. I'm not really noticing a lot with my skin yet, but they say that you have to take it for, you know, 60, 90 days to really, really see some results. So I decided that I was going to go through all of my skincare stuff. So here it all is. This is what we are throwing away right here, folks. All right. And basically, I was going to start and embark on a clean, clean skincare journey. So I know they have clean beauty and they have clean skincare. I can't quite make the switch over to completely clean beauty yet, but I have decided skincare, it's important. Important. It's the first thing that goes on your face before anything else. With makeup, you have a barrier, you have the skincare, you have primers, that kind of thing. But I feel like with the skincare, that's what goes on first. That's what goes on morning and night. That's what you use to make remove your makeup, that kind of thing. And that's what needs to really be addressed first. So I'm gonna start, you know, it's just like building a house. You start from the bottom and build your way up. So uh, this, this is the box that I'm left with. <laughs> it's absolutely pathetic, quite frankly, when you go from this big old heavy thing <laughs> to this. So um, I'm just, I'm. this is my first video. I'm just gonna talk about um, some things that I'm getting rid of and why. If you guys do not know this, uh, Sephora does have a clean at Sephora. So they have a huge ingredient list. I will put it right up here for you. And um, I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with all the ingredient stuff. You can look this stuff up yourself if you decide to do uh, this a similar thing. But I will tell you guys from last Sunday to this Sunday, so it has been a week now that I have started this clean beauty journey. I am definitely, I mean, seeing some results here, okay? Some huge results. So let's start, you know, this, this, this hurts me. I love Peter Thomas Roth. I love this face wash. This was the Cucumber Detox Foaming Cleanser. It's gotta go. I'm not going to be doing any more pore strips. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, what? Yes, I know. I was a big fan of pore strips, but I feel like the pulling, the tugging on the skin, it's just not good for you. So no more face strips. That same thing goes for peel mask. This is the Wonder Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. I really love this, but um, I'm, I, again, I don't want the tugging. I don't want the pulling. And quite frankly, with my new routine, I have had way less blackheads than I have ever had before. So um, just, just throwing that out there to you guys um, with the tool that I'm using and, and this little box of goodies here. So and we're gonna get into all of that. This is gonna be the first video of, I don't know if I'm gonna do two or three, but I wanna break everything down. I wanna show you guys, again, beginning, middle, end. You know what I'm saying? So uh, another thing, this was something I used to use a lot of. I use toners, 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 toners. They help shrink the pores, that kind of thing. Again, the ingredients in here, just not, not good, not good. Uh, the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Face Mask. I know a lot of you guys really love this, but in this this one and uh, the other Glam Glow product that, I mean, it, it, it literally hurts me, you guys, to get rid of these products. The Super Mud. These are products that I swore by. I loved them so much. But honestly, since I have eliminated these from my routine, I've had far less breakouts far less problems, far, you know, my pores, just everything has been so much better. The CEO Sunday Riley Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. This has got a lot of great things in it, you guys. It's got the vitamin C and everything else, but I found other comparative products where I can get my vitamin C and not have the irritation. This actually gave me a lot of inflammation around my nose and on my cheeks. So when I cut this out, the inflammation went away. As you can see, I am barely inflamed at all. Like all of my the redness that I normally have, it's almost all gone. So just taking that out of there. The Murad, this was a big thing I love to use in the summertime. 
it, it's got to go. It's just um, same thing with this Glam Glow Super Toner. You know, this is a great product. It's a great acid product. But again, there are um, other ones that you can use that are clean. So, you know, this one hurts me. This one really hurt me. I love my Lancome. I have so many, so many Lancome products and these products are so expensive. But again, just the ingredients in them are not great, not great. And um, I just, I, I don't, I don't want them in my routine anymore. The Elemis uh, Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I know a lot of us got this in our BoxyCharm and you know, I thought it was a great product, but I actually found out that collagen in uh, skincare is actually worthless. It's completely worthless. So, you know, stick to your vitamin C, stick to your proteins. That's what you need. That's what you want. Again, once eliminated, stop having issues. So there's a lot of stuff. The 111 Skin, this stuff is so expensive and supposedly so amazing and so good. I'm going to be honest, you guys, I really did not see a very big difference with this. The same thing with uh, um, Shiseido. I, I'm telling you guys, I've heard so many, and I've got another Shiseido product in here somewhere. Yeah, so here's the Shiseido uh, ben Benefiance uh, Wrinkle Resistant 24 Under Eye Cream. Again, the ingredients in here, they're just, they're not clean. They're, it's, it's not um, as fabulous as I thought those products were. Again, once removed out of my routine, I am really seeing some results. The Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Mask, Oxygenating Sheet Mask. Again, it's not clean. Um, this one probably hurts me more than anything. The It Bye Bye Under Eye Cream. I really, really love this stuff. I love this stuff so much. This was the one that I really had to fight myself with. And I'm like, well, maybe I can just keep one non-clean product. But if you're gonna go all into something, you have to go all in. So that is what I am deciding to do. I'm just gonna go all in. Same thing with my It Cosmetic Secret Sauce. As much as it hurts, again, all in. There's another Shiseido product. Um, I mean, you know, Dr. Brandt, you guys know how I feel about Dr. Brandt anyway, so these ones really aren't bothering me to go anywhere. Um, I mean, I've got wrinkle stuff in here. I've got Oil of Olay, Regenerist, not great ingredients. I mean, so this whole box right here of, uh, of goodies, um, a cure, this one really hurt, you guys know. I swore by this for so long. This is the Benefit Eyes Firm It Up Eye Serum. It's just, it's gotta go. So this whole box of skincare is going and I am left with um, Drunk Elephant, the um, First Aid Beauty, Pharmacy, Ren, Bare Minerals, Tatcha is clean, and then also Ole Henriksen. So this is the skincare products that I am left with. I also have some, a couple of oils. Now I will tell you guys with oils, make sure that you find out whether or not they are refined or unrefined because you want the unrefined oil if it's refined it takes all of the properties out of it that makes it good and worth putting on your face so don't get the refined oil you want to make sure that it's an unrefined face oil okay all right so this is basically video one this is step one getting rid of anything that is not considered a clean skincare product only keeping what is and only using what is so i am filming along this entire journey i've been filming all week my routine what i'm doing again i want you guys to see the results if any beginning middle end i can tell you i am definitely seeing some significant results 
from the first day that I started filming to now, I am going to definitely keep you guys updated. In my next video, I'm going to break down my full skincare routine, exactly what I'm doing, what I'm using. Again, I'm not pushing this on anybody. These are not products that I'm saying, oh, you should try this. This works wonderfully. I'm just sharing with you guys what I'm doing, the journey that I'm embarking on, and the results that I'm getting, if any. And as, as of right now, I am definitely seeing some results. So we'll see what happens. It may, um, you know, plateau, it may keel off, it may just continue getting better. I hope that it continues getting better. My skin definitely needs it. I want it to look as beautiful and radiant for as long as possible, but I mean, who doesn't, right? All right, you guys, so if you are interested in watching the next video, definitely, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell and switch it to notify all videos. Otherwise, YouTube will only notify you about the videos that they think you want to see. So if you are interested, definitely make sure you're notified. I'm going to make the next video uh, a week from today. So it's going to go out next week. Again, it's going to be a full breakdown of my routine, everything that I am currently using. And again, I'm going to film everything. I want you guys to see it. And then I think I'm going to do my third video, final finale, where are we at? Where did we start from? Where are we ending at? All right. So I love you guys so, so very much. Thank you so much for your support for me and my channel and taking an interest in what it is that I'm doing and what I have going on and what my skincare routine is. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.